I'm Melissa Sardelli here with your online nightly newscast. For Thursday, October 8th, these are our top stories posted on WPRI.com tonight. William O'Brien, director of Joslin Recreation Center, has been arrested and charged with embezzlement. Tonight, he's free on personal recognizance. O'Brien is accused of writing several checks and then cashing those checks and keeping the money. He's been suspended without pay pending the outcome of the investigation. And new details on the case of the Craigslist killer. A secret indictment released this week reveals the name of the alleged victim in the Warwick Hotel attack for the first time. Investigators say Philip Markoff assaulted Cynthia Melton with intent to rob her back in April. Melton is an exotic dancer from Las Vegas. Markoff is now awaiting trial in Massachusetts. Once that is complete, Markoff will be returned to Rhode Island to stand trial. Eyewitness News with developing news from East Providence now. More than a dozen police officers are expected to lose their job tomorrow at 4 in the afternoon. The layoffs are part of a plan to save the city nearly $900,000. Half of the detective division, five officers from the community policing division, and one drug enforcement officer will be out of work. City manager Richard Brown has said the cuts will not affect public safety. And a popular autumn event returns to Rhode Island. Tonight, the Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular kicks off at Roger Williams Park Zoo in Providence. 10,000 intricately carved pumpkins will be on display nightly through November 1st. A team of over 30 professional carvers spent more than six weeks creating the display. And for all of your up-to-the-minute online nightly news, stay with WPRI.com. Thanks for watching.